All right, what's up YouTube? Cunning and Cichlids back with another video. This video, we're gonna do some more work in the fish room to continue a day in the life series. So we're gonna swap out a 60 gallon tank. Uh, that's in my rack um, behind me. Um, these are all 40s, but there's one 60 breeder that's in there. So we're gonna swap that out with a 40 breeder. So we're gonna have to drill the 40 breeder. So come along with me as I change this out and uh, I'll give you a close up on drilling the tank. All right, like I said, we're gonna swap out this 60 here. I just got a trio of Alonicar and Ngaros and uh, one white lab in it, a little bit of chromosa, Nakata Bay, Ceruleus, Nakata Bay. So we're gonna drain this tank. We're gonna pull these four fish out here. Take the tank out of the rack. We're gonna go drill the one in the garage, which is the 40 breeder we got to replace it with, and then we're gonna set it back up. So let's go do all that. All right, so we got the, the sharpener out that we're using to, uh, to sharpen the drill bit. We got the drill out with the bit. Uh, we sharpened it up, so we're gonna get that ready to go. In the meantime, we're using our half horse transfer pump, and we're, uh, you can see here, we're draining out as much as we can in this 60 breeder that's gonna be taken down so that we gotta catch the fish out of here and pull the sand out and move this tank because we're put the 40 in, but we're draining in as much water as we can with the pump, and then we'll, uh, we'll finish it off here. All right, so we're gonna this 40, we gotta get our water. Biggest thing is you don't want the bit to get hot, so we're using our bit here. And then we're gonna drill this here, so we're gonna keep some water in the hole here that we wanna drill. Biggest thing is to keep it wet, so we're gonna start drilling and see what happens. scoring it so we'll take the clamp off now that we got it scored drop the template and just work on it the biggest thing for the template is just to get the grooves so I got grooves there now so and I can finish it with line back up progress the water also gets the glass away from the holes the white stuff comes down to the glass particles let's see we're split the paint a little bit so I think we're starting to go through yep we're starting to cut through the other side so Careful so we don't break the holes, we get that back out. It's a piece of glass that came out of the out of the hole, so clean this up. It's a little rougher than some of the other ones when we cut the 75s last week. It just actually the hole is nice and smooth, just the looks like the paint might have chipped on the outside, but that should work for this, so we're gonna go ahead and put the ball pit on it and then uh, pull the 60 out. All right, so now we gotta take this tank apart. Put the heater on hook because we're draining it. We need to pull the drain line off, which is right here, off the bulkhead, so we can pull this bulkhead off. And hopefully, just reuse it on another. There we go. The drain hose off. So now we're gonna undo the bulkhead, and we'll put this on the other tank. Up 
pulling that off. Can get it off. Trouble. Maybe not. There we go. And I'll screw the whole piece, the whole hose bar piece first. There we go. Thing we might have to do is cut this hose a little longer on the drain side. Don't know yet until I get the other 40 in place with the bulkhead to see where I need to adjust. But I might need to cut a new piece of hose because since the 60 sits about a couple inches taller than the 40 breeders, it probably will not fit. All right, now we got our pieces, so we're going to go reassemble on this side. Reassemble the bulkhead on this tank. We screw our drain, he said, the best we can. Doesn't move. So we're going to put some pair of pliers. Bulkhead, the tank in the rack with the bulkhead on didn't really work, so we had to take it off. So now we got to redo it. It's only take a minute, now we can get the tank into place. Okay, so 
think she's ready to go now. We'll finish filling it up and get the sand moved, get the fish moved, filters, water line back up, the water change system. All right, and then we'll finish this bad boy off. All right, so all the day's work. So we got the 40 meter drilled. It's filled up. And the place a little cloudy because we threw some crushed coral in there with the the uh, carib sea um, sear sear sand mix. Sorry, couldn't think of the word. So we threw some crushed coral in there, but uh, all in all, it's all set. We got the background cut. You can't see, but the background's back in there. I had to cut it another couple inches shorter between the an inch and a half shorter between the 60 breeder and the 40 breeder. So I just took a razor knife and cut it, and that's all set drains all hooked back up there water line over there in the corner is hooked back up and we're good to go so that's another uh, day in the life of fish keeper the stuff you need to do if you want to change tanks out and they're drilled drill new ones replace them you know just part of part of everyday maintenance down here in the fish room so if you like my video please share subscribe to my channel share the videos um and uh yeah thanks for watching i appreciate it